Welcome to Pure Mind Magic, the show to evolve your mind. Our mind is the most powerful thing we have, but no one teaches us how to use it. When we find out how, we're ready to create magic in life and in business. Learn real mindset secrets from brilliant minds around the world to change your mindset and income level forever. With every decision you make, you create your future. What is your next move? Now, welcome your host. Host, international magician, speaker, and podcast performance consultant, Jennifer S. Royal. Hi, this is Jennifer S. Royal, and welcome back to another episode, the midweek motivation of the Pure Mind Magic podcast. Thanks for tuning in today. I have picked a special topic for this episode, a topic I wanted to create an episode for for quite some time. And now it was about the perfect moment because I did a train ride together with my best friend. We know each other for 12 years and went through a lot of things in life, good and bad and everything in between. And I just thought about that there are really things in life that you can't buy with money, like friendships like these that are so strong and where you have the feeling that they will keep for a lifetime. And you have probably someone in your life where you have this feeling and maybe it's a good idea just to let them know. So in a few moments, you will find out why I picked this topic and how to have world-changing ideas on the train. Before we go into this episode, I wanted to mention two things. So first, when you are listening to all the episodes, you know that, to, that today, May 15, 2019, the Sales Mentality Makeover Masterclass with my other good friend, Christine Schlonsky from Berlin starts a complete online event with 20 speakers from all around the world that help you get better in selling and improving your mindset around selling. And I have the honor to be one of the speakers in the whole event. You can take part in this completely for free. You will find a link in the show notes where you can get access today and then see all the great speeches online from all the coaches and consultants in the selling area. And of course, you will learn from me about how to make selling more magical. And the other thing is, when you're interested like me in online courses, I finally made this breakthrough and created my own online course, the very first. So I think it's not perfect yet, but I learned that Porsche and Apple and all the other great brands are all doing it like they are coming up with one version and then they improve it, version two, three, four, five, and so on. So this is the very first version. I'm not sure if I will leave it online forever, but now it is and you can get it with a 90% off by using the link in the show notes as well. So what is it all about? It has to do, of course, with podcasting, but takes an approach to podcasting that focuses on networking. Like how can you use the amazing medium of podcasting from like both sides of the mic to grow your network and in the end really profit from your network and building long-term business relationships, joint ventures, doing business development, all that is in the course with a lot of resources, tips, hacks, all around to about networking to make you really the best networker you can be. So I have grown my personal business network tremendously through my podcast and also by doing interviews on other people's shows. And I'm sharing all my secrets in this three-hour online course that you can do completely on your own timing. So check that out if you like, if that calls to you. And now you're hopefully ready to get my insights on how to have world-changing ideas on the train. 
Maybe you are someone who is traveling frequently with the train or uh, just sometimes or just when you go on holiday or during holidays, whatever. I think that the train is really an interesting symbol. And I think there is no proof of science about this thing with having this great ideas and breakthroughs and eurekas while you are traveling on the train. So this is completely from me. And I didn't find any article or something else online that plays with this topic. So I just let you know my thoughts on having these ideas while traveling in the train. So I think that we're maybe... Let's reverse engineer and start the other way around why I came up with this idea. The thing is, maybe it's just a coincidence, but I just thought it's really interesting because two of my like biggest heroes had their breakthroughs that really changed the world, how we know it, forever. And the first one is Walt Disney. I'm not sure if you know, but Walt Disney came up with the idea of Mickey Mouse while riding the train. He was very desperate at that time because someone had stolen his idea of a rabbit. He created an animated rabbit and he had no more money. So with his last money, he bought this train ticket and while being on the train he came up with this idea and made the first drawing of the Mickey Mouse we know today and I just thought that's pretty magical that's really emotional and then also interesting about the train and my other hero who's still alive was traveling on the train while she created a magic figure. And I'm talking, of course, about J.K. Rowling, the author of all the Harry Potter books. And she said that in this train, she was able to see the whole story of Harry Potter and also that it would be the seven books and everything from beginning to end. She just saw it and started to write it in the train. And as I said... Maybe it's just coincidence that those two, like, superheroes for me created their biggest things in the train. But I made the same experience, and I also do that when I'm uh, driving by car, especially over the German Autobahn. Maybe it's really because you are on the move, and it's the same in the train, and also you're kind of isolated isolated from the world and i think it's because you know the saying that emotion is energy in motion so it's like your ideas your emotions everything is in motion while you are traveling in a train and i suspect that it might help to get you into the flow to get the creative juices flowing while you are riding on the train and you can't just stop and do anything else outside of the train because you are in the train and maybe you are on track, you are on your path. I mean, these are obviously all just symbols, but it could be that we are kind of influenced by that on a subconscious level. And I know that also Alfred Hitchcock loved playing with this idea with the train. So You know, he has one film and now I forgot to look it up. I think it's called Strangers on a Train, but I'm not quite sure where two people that are complete strangers met on a train and they fall in love. And it's a really cool story by him and starts really mystical where you just see the feed of two people and then meeting in the train and the story unfolds from there. So I think it's it's still a great, um, I don't know, a great item for a story. And in, very, in a lot of films, it gets picked up with the train. So there's some magic to the train, I think. And also... When you think of it, it's like being in a 
in an airplane above the clouds, you are whether in location A nor in location B, you are in between spaces. It's like where everything is possible. You are not at your destination. And I think this could also enhance the creative flow being like in this, maybe we can call it twilight zone, not arriving yet and not in the place where you started. It could be also because of the calming sound maybe from uh, riding on the train that you hear you know it's the same when you are on the beach because the frequency of the waves coming in turns your heart rate down and helps you really easily to move from beta into alpha brain waves why I am always very aware when I'm close to the sea what I'm thinking because all of that gets easy into my subconscious mind because the waves have about this 60 hertz so really brings you down calms you down and opens your subconscious mind so your critical mind might be not that aware i mean you can use it to your advantage when you know of course and maybe you notice that a lot of meditations and hypnosis sessions use actually waves in the background to calm you down so this just as a little side note here and uh, my idea of linking it with the train when it's on track so you hear this click uh, during the whole ride so what can you personally do if you like my idea and want to try that out for yourself and see maybe if you can come up with the next world-changing idea while you are on a train and for example i also got the idea of my new name you know where i changed it from victoria mavis before to my jennifer s royal while i was on a plane and uh, also i'm not traveling too often with the train but i think it's kind of cool and especially here in this munich area you can go through the mountains in winter time and then it looks really beautiful it's like romantic with all this snow and the train i was taking with my best friend last week was we were leaving in munich to uh, rosenheim this is a little bit before the border of austria and it was the same train that was going on until Verona in Italy a very nice city and I just thought hmm, maybe I, I should stay in the train to get more creative ideas until I'm in Italy but then we got off the train all right but now here are my tips what you can do and as I said try it for yourself to use this creativity and see what's happening when you are in the train or in an airplane so first tip is here to if you haven't upgrade your ticket to first class because it really makes this difference and when you want to be creative and do all this mind work and idea work and everything around it you need it to be quiet and when there's no chance or there is no first class because not every train obviously has that then at least book this quiet area in the train where there's no cell phones allowed because it's very distracting when you have people talking on the phone and phone ringings all the time so really be aware of that and keep keep your zone as quiet as possible to maintain that focus that you need to come up with world changing ideas and also a nice tip here is to pick a nice destination so when you do that for holiday or just for fun then pick a destination where you would like to go because that after all enhances your mood like your frequency because you get in this feeling that you can't wait to be there so you know when you book your holidays there's this, this great feeling because you know it's going to happen and you can use this emotion and we know when we are in a good state of mind and we are feeling good we definitely have better ideas better thoughts and take better actions so everything you can do 
I wouldn't pick a city you don't like to uh, travel there. I mean, when you have to make the best of it, but when you have the opportunity to choose, then choose wisely. And you could even go so far. I just saw that in a magazine that there is a very luxurious train that goes through India. It's about $7,000 to ride this train, but it's really luxurious. And we know there's the Orient Express and there are other trains that are very famous. So when you really want to go like all in and ride the train for a long time to come up with a lot of ideas, maybe with your whole content for your business or your book, or yeah, as I said, the whole content for one year, then I would suggest that you take a long train ride. But so far, just pick a short one and try what's happening when you feel that this might be a good idea. And I would also suggest that you have your favorite music with you. It's also said that music can really enhance our productivity. And I did an episode, you can go back, I'll look that up, where I was explaining why our focus is better when we have the same track on repeat over and over. So you can make use of that as well. And again, that helps you get into this creative state, feeling good, getting into the flow. So to keep the ideas coming. Next tip is to have everything that you need to work downloaded before you hop on the train, because I'm sure you noticed before that all the connections are really tough while you are riding in the train. So this has also advantages, obviously, because no one can really uh, reach you there, but just know that some trains trains have great internet, but they are more seldom. So everything you need, just have it prepared. And definitely, most important of all, bring your notebook. So as I said, Walt Disney made the drawing of Mickey Mouse, and it's so long ago. So there was no electronic notebook at that time. I'm not absolutely sure with J.K. Rowling, but I'm sure that she has pen or she had pen and paper as well to capture all these ideas that were coming to her. And then obviously also prepare to have some food and drinks, all your favorites. It's also sometimes offered in the train, but it's it's great you have your own just to be safe and that you don't have to interrupt your workflow when you are in the middle of this creative process. And you know that the brain takes a lot of energy when you redo really this kind of deep and concentrated work that you are just prepared and have everything there. So when you do it, I would be really amazed if you could share your story. Maybe send an email to puremindmagic at gmail.com. That is puremindmagic at gmail.com and share your experiences. And I will pick that up in another episode, letting the other listeners know what you did and what came to your mind. So again, I think why it's a good idea or why there is the odds are good that you have this great ideas that really catapult you further or to the next level in your business, in your life is because you are, while you are in a train, like kind of isolated from the outer world and you are in motion while you're riding the train and it's easier to get into this flow and you're in between the spaces like in this twilight zone where everything is possible before you again leave the train. So check that out. Let me know what was happening to you. So unfortunately, my last train travel with my best friend there was just too short because it was about 40 minutes. It wasn't that easy. 
And uh, I know you need some time to get into the zone, to settle down, to yeah, just have everything in place. So when you do it, give yourself a little bit of time. But as I said, it worked perfectly for me while being on the airplane as well as in my car on the autobahn because I normally drive uh, at least for two, three hours when I'm on tour. So that's working very well. Hope you found some value in this episode. If you did, please let me know and I will talk to you again on Friday with the next interview. Remember to apply or I mean to register for the Sales Mentality Makeover Masterclass with Christine Schlonsky starting today. And then you can pick whatever interests you around selling, around mindset, uh, around NLP as well to get better in that area because we all know that selling is the most important thing when it comes to business. Otherwise, as most people say, you just have a hobby. So think of the selling like that. The link is in the show notes. And again, as well, if you're interested in getting my first online course, how you can use podcasting to grow and profit from your new build network, then you get the link to get this 90% off at the moment just for my listeners. I think that's it for today. So I wish you safe travels on the train and can't wait to hear your stories and your ideas that are about to change the world like Walt Disney and J.K. Rowling did. And I'm sure they had no idea before uh, stepping into their trains what would happen during the train travel. So a mystical, magical experience if you decide for it. Enjoy the time. Talk to you soon. Until then, create some magic. Magic.